Jennifer Seeger and welcome back to my channel, The Seeger Stories. So today's video is going to be kind of in two parts. I'm going to do an inventory of what I have for fall decorations because I've been looking in the stores and really need to sort out what I already own. And then I want to show you a little bit of a fall decor haul because I did cheat a little bit. And even though I've been shopping thinking I can't buy anything until I know what I have, some things snuck into the cart, so nothing I can do about that, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go through both today. I was going to wait and film this as part of a Decorate With Me video, but we are actually waiting this morning at the time I'm filming this. Probably by the time it goes up, we'll know if we have a house or not, but we are fairly excited about an offer. It's the sixth offer we've put in on a home, um, but we just have this feeling about it. And now if I'm watching this and we didn't get the house, it's gonna be crazy to say, but we just have this feeling um, that this is going to be the house for us. And if not, we've been aggressively putting in offers on homes. So all that to say, I might be doing still a fall clean and decorate with me in the townhouse we're in now. But if we are moving this fall, I might not get time to do it, or maybe I'll be doing it in a new house. Either way, I was far too anxious to get into fall decor, so I want to show you what I have and what I've purchased so far, so if you enjoy that kind of video, just keep on watching. If you do like this video, please click that thumbs up below, and also don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot of fun stuff, upcoming trips, and who knows, maybe moving into a home coming to the channel, so click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything, but hey, let's dive into some fall decor here. All right, so I've already started unpacking a few things. This is a wreath that my mother had given me a few years ago, and I'm not gonna move it too much because it leaves a terrible mess, but I think it's just gorgeous. So I already have something for the front door. I have these couple bushel baskets. These are actually left over from our wedding, but I've always stashed them with fall decor. I think my mother gifted me those as well. So these are just some of the bigger items not in a bin that I have, but I'll be going through the bin too. Um, just a basket I've used, and this is kind of an apple barrel glass basket I got as a gift a few years ago. I have these two signs. This back one is a thankful and blessed, kind of a long one here. And then I also picked that up a couple years ago. Maybe it was last year. No, two years ago. I have to think of pre-COVID times. Um, but this Autumn Anchors pumpkin patch sign, and I know that they have this in stock because I did just see it again at Hobby Lobby. So I just have everything out on my guest bed here. Dog sleeping, not included in fall decor, just hanging out. But I have this bin that I'm really excited to kind of dig into to remember what I have. So let's let's dive in here. So right on top we have some linens. These are a couple just pillow covers that I picked up from Ikea. And I have those in mind that I might want to get, <laughs> Ruby smelling them, get some more uh, pillow covers because I know I had trouble finding those last year. Just some, we use cloth napkins usually at our house. So I have some of these I picked up at Home Goods a couple years ago. And as far as decorations, I have a ton of Christmas, but I have moderate fall decor. So, I got this at Joann's last year. I know they don't have them this year, so it's kind of hard to show, <laughs> but I just love that. I don't think I have too many more fall mugs. This is just all crammed in here together. It's hard to get out. Here's a candle, heirloom pumpkin. I know it still smells good because the whole bin smells like that, so hopefully there's a lid. Oh, here's a lid in there for that. Ruby approved. Got some garland up here. Just gonna set that off to the side. More napkins because I think that was an eight pack maybe that I had had last year. Little glass pumpkin. This is super cute. Let me hold him proper here. A little hedgehog. I don't know why. He's not necessarily fall either. Okay. Little pumpkin. I had a lot of stuff that I picked up for a tiered tray. And I've also been purchasing a lot because I'm getting a second tiered tray. 
This is super cute. I know I picked that up at Hobby Lobby and they have some similar things to that this year that I have seen while I'm in there too. And there's a lot of stuff in here, I think, for the tiered tray. That's kind of a cute little sign that would be cute on a tray. And a little pumpkin. I like buying sometimes pumpkin. Ruby, come on. Pumpkin picks because you can just kind of bend that down and have a separate thing. Hold on, I might have to deal with a dog. Ruby, can you get down? Ruby, down. Ruby, come down. Ruby. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll just have to do this around a dog. If anybody has any dog obedience training tips, that would be great. This is a cute little thing. I always take the batteries out of things when I pack them away. Um, but it's just a wicker pumpkin, and then there are some lights in there. So it doesn't have a timer, though. I hate buying things on the battery that doesn't have a timer. Here is just a bouquet with some white. Are they white sunflowers? I don't know what those flowers are in there. but And then... More things for the tiered tray. Like I said, there's quite a bit in here, but then at the same time, not too much. Little pumpkin spice sign to go with the other signs there. Last of the bin here. This is potpourri. I say potpourri year to year. I usually find it holds its scent pretty well, and I had gotten that, I think, at a craft fair, or maybe Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. And then to wrap things up, there are some pumpkin spice candles that I will put in my pillars. I got those at World Market. I got some Halloween costume stuff in here as well. That's what the pink purse is. That's my 80s garb. I do try to pack away when I have leftovers of hand soaps and whatnot. So I have apple cider hand soap from Mrs. Myers, And then I have this cute little Thing. I don't think I've ever put this container out though. I think it just smells really good. So I have my permanent containers. Another little pumpkin in there. This is a set of apples that I usually like to put in that apple um, barrel. Let's do that really quick so we can see the effect. Okay, that's pretty cute. I'll probably keep that same setup again. Getting back to what's in the bin here. I just keep the pumpkin carving tools year to year. Again, Halloween decorations. These are some glitter devil years. I've had those for, I don't know, like 15 <laughs> years plus. This is super cute. I actually got this, I think, for my birthday last year or the year before. Here's a cute little sign. Happy fall, y'all. I don't know if I'm still loving this for this house or another. This one might go to my office at work. It's still kind of fun. I have this little guy, um, just a Halloween countdown that's pretty cute. And then lastly in the bin are these couple little guys um, for Halloween decorations. So that is kind of everything for fall decor that I own. It's more than some, less than others, but I definitely am excited to show you what I bought and will probably purchase a couple more things. Should we go look at what we bought, Ruby? Okay. So we went through what I own. Let's look at what I bought. I'm going to start with this shirt I actually purchased from Amazon. I will link it below and everything that I'm showing you today that I can link below, I will. So, uh, other Amazon purchase this year, and I have to get something to fill it, like the stuffer, but this is just a little pillow. I think it's 12 by 20, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I will link this below, but I thought this was super duper cute. Um, like I mentioned before, I knew I had those two throw pillow covers, and I wanted to get more, but I've got a lot of bags around me, so forgive the crinkling. I haven't looked at this since I purchased it, and I've probably bought it over the last few weeks, so we're just gonna dive in. And I did stop at Bath & Body Works. I'm not a huge fan, except their candles are getting to me. I love burning candles, and this one I found, they had a lot of seasonal ones, and I actually caught the half price sale. This is Fresh Fall Morning. Isn't it so annoying when people smell candles in videos and you can't smell at all, but you can go to Bath & Body Works and smell this. I promise it's really good. 
I don't like things that are too fruity or sweet. They had a lot of cool ones and I was really torn about this toasted marshmallow one, but it felt a little sweet. I like things that are a little muskier, if that makes sense. Um, and this has a good like cologne-like smell and it's a little bit masculine, so I really liked that scent. So I picked that up. Next, let me show you what I picked up from the great Hobby Lobby this year. I knew that I didn't have a ton of pumpkins, so I got this little guy. I thought it was really cute because it had the stem and the little leaves on it, so just your basic pumpkin. Set things because I still have a dog trying to get in everything here. Um, I was shopping at Hobby Lobby with Crinkling paper. I was shopping at Hobby Lobby with tiered trays in mind, and I just thought this was really cute. It's a little tiny pedestal. Could set a pumpkin or something on it. Speaking of, here's a pumpkin. Um, this is a pick from Hobby Lobby. They're meant to go in containers, but I really like them for getting things for the tiered tray because they're usually pretty small and you can bend this out of the way or take it off. And I'm kind of focusing on one of my trays is like cream colored. I've got a lot of blue in my kitchen, so I was picking up things that are more cream and blue and kind of adding those fall tones. I'm seeing a lot of that the last couple years going into stores that there's a lot of fall tone things. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. Again, from Hobby Lobby, they're super cute. They're die cut wood leaves. So I'm excited to see what I can make of this or just set out on the tiered tray. So that was pretty cute. Also, this was just too cute to pass up. And now that I'm unpacking, I see that I have a lot of things like this, but maybe it's a you can never have too many kind of thing. So excited about that one. I had originally gone into the store and seen a plain little, what would you call this, cutting board type thing. And then I was walking around and I found that there was one with the writing already on it. When I'd seen the plain ones, I was like, maybe I can make something with the Cricut. Hold please. You know what? Maybe we're just gonna take a pause and have the dog leave the room while I unpack the rest of this. So, one moment. Okay, Ruby is out of the room, so hopefully that will cut down on the number of pumpkins and things she's been trying to eat by my feet. And we'll go back to unpacking. I am super excited about this. I was actually looking for a fall colored plaid tablecloth, something because I didn't have a tablecloth, or I don't, except for a plaid Christmas one and a white one. So. I found this and I remembered that I have those plaid napkins. So I'm super excited at the combination of the two and should make a really nice table setting with just a nice neutral backdrop. So I was psyched about this and also I should mention the reason so many of these things hopped into my cart when I was at Hobby Lobby is they keep doing a 40% off sale of all their fall decor. And I know it was like late July, early August and I was just ready to shop and it's 40% off. It, it begged me to buy it so I had to do it. This, oh, it's chipped. I might try to return him. I'm just seeing now that it's chipped um, as I'm unpacking it. But this is a little crow. I kind of thought he was just adorable. Again, like a little tiered trade buddy. Um, he might go in with something. And then I was going to say the last thing I bought, but I see I have another Hobby Lobby bag. But I have a couple wax melt burners. These are the same. Whoa. These are the same kind, the scent that I got. Uh, again, what is it called? Ode and Amber. Amber and Sandalwood, anything with that in the title. Oh, I know it's gonna be something that I love and this is just gorgeous. They had a lot of these wax melts and I think my wax burners are from a company that name escapes me but it's like one of those home sale places if i think of it i'll put it up on the screen here scentsy that's what it is um and they have wax melts which are gorgeous but i don't know of like a dealer in my area here and i've just started buying these they're like two three dollars they have them at hobby lobby and home goods okay so bag one of hobby lobby let's get into bag two of hobby lobby this is a little filler 
that I picked up and they actually have these. I chose the green pumpkins just for a little bit of contrast in color, but they had a cream one and an orange one. And if I'm not mistaken, a blue one too. So you can get just a little bit of color added in and pick your color. Um, this was a pretty good deal. I think this was $9.99 and again, I got everything 40% off. So that was awesome. I got this, it's another, it's a floral, pick I guess it's a larger pick but I thought it was just so gorgeous with these leaves and the straw and everything to set on the edge of a tray and I almost got more than one to tell you the truth and I might go back for another um, the picks were also 40% off and this was $5.99 so it was a good deal last pick that I picked up was this I don't know what you call this it's kind of really bright in the light here, but I thought this was just gorgeous and would add a little bit of nice texture to a tiered tray. I picked up some of these tags. Again, just looking for some cute things for a tiered tray. Um, it says grateful, thankful, and blessed. They were $3.99, 40% off, can't beat that deal. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'll use them for, but I thought they were so cute. This I am so excited to try and I don't know how this will work. I have to do a little bit of research and I will definitely film it in an upcoming um, vlog if I get these to work this fall, but they're little stencils. Um, so as you can see on the cup of coffee there, I don't exactly know how it works that you put this on and maybe you just sprinkle cinnamon or something over top, but it'll say, let's get cozy. They have a hello pumpkin, pumpkin, squirrel, I'll turn it around here and a hedgehog so those are all the different stencils that it comes with and as far as I can tell there's five of them they're reusable so maybe this will just be like a fun little fall tradition that we start that we can make these kind of cool coffee drinks at home so I'm really excited about that I picked up oh yes yet another teeny tiny little sign at Hobby Lobby this was $2.99 again 40% off the stencils I don't know if I said that were $3.99 40% off so that's a good deal Again, with the little signs, um, this was $4.99, trying to bring a little bit of blue into the fall decor, simply blessed and really, really cute. So excited to see that again, probably on a tiered tray. I'm going to end up like, I bought a tiered tray and then I bought a second, so I had to buy more stuff to fill a second and now I'm going to have to buy a third and it's just going to be a vicious cycle like when you have like cereal in the bowl and then you had milk and then you had cereal like trying to find the balance. I feel like that's my life moving forward with tiered trays because I'm just having so much fun with them. <laughs> the last, this is very last Hobby Lobby thing. Um, again, the blue thing. I just thought this was gorgeous and it had a little bit of a rose mauling uh, feel to it like that Norwegian or Scandinavian design element. This was $6.99, 40% off. And this one, gotta get the pull out here, does light up. So that'll be super cute. The only thing that's a bummer, when you get things that light up, I like it if you look at the toggle switch on the bottom, like I'm not getting it to focus well. This one just has on off. But look in the store sometimes, especially for some of the candles and things with the wick that looks realistic they'll have a timer on there and as long as you go and switch it to timer it'll go on at that certain time every day and stay on for four to six hours so it's a rudimentary timer system but when you just have this i feel like it's so cool but it's hard to remember to walk around your house i don't know like flicking switches all over little things all the time so trying to limit it but this one was just too cute to pass up so all right that's it for hobby lobby let me pack this up and then we'll move on to some home goods Okay, Hobby Lobby out of my way, packed away, so you don't hear all that crinkling. And I think I just said, moving on to home goods. And I keep getting these stores mixed up, but it's actually at home. Um, they're all named such similar things. So home goods is like a TJ Maxx kind of store at home. I think it's a chain. We have two of them in the Twin Cities area. And I know I did some shopping in one, so I'll pop in that video if you wanna watch it. But I um, went to at home, I have not, as of yet, I'm sure I will, but as of yet, I have not bought anything at Home Goods. So, at At Home Store, first big thing, see if I can get this on camera, is this gorgeous rug. And I'm loving um, 
the color. It's just this kind of bringing in those fall tones, but adding that bit of kind of teal and blues in there it just kind of makes it uh, richer, more dynamic. I know most of my decorations were in the traditional browns and tans and oranges, so I'm kind of excited that these pops of blue that I'm getting in there, I had very little, as you saw from my uh, inventory, very few pops of color in there. Um, okay, at home stuff. So I have two bags from at home. I didn't get a ton, but I got more um, of the blue stuff I'm really excited about. And their stuff wasn't on sale. I don't see their seasonal stuff go on sale, especially um, until it's like toward the end of the season. Um, but I also don't make it over there very much because they're like a half an hour, 45 minutes away from where I live. So maybe they go on sale more often. If you know, leave a comment below so we know when a good time might be to catch sales. But I got this $12.99. It is a garland. I don't know if I'll use it as a garland or it's all on these little pieces of twine. Uh, so I think I could cut them up and use this as a vase filler if I wanted, but I thought the hues were really pretty. Kind of some soft blues again to get in there. I got, I forgot I got this. This has nothing to do with fall decor, but I got some wipes because I have some silver um, pieces like a cake server from our wedding that was looking really dingy and I thought this would be handy and it was by the checkout, so bonus. I got a couple war wax melts. I go through these quite a bit and especially in the warm winter, <laughs> the cool winter months where it's warm and cozy inside, I'll go through a lot. I got just a spice, does it just say spice? And then this one is autumn evening. Oh, pumpkin spice this is, so very good smells there. You should check those out. Okay, crinkle paper alert. Paper alert. This is really pretty. Again, I, I might have too much blue now, but I really liked this and I thought this, see if I can get it to focus there, was just so dainty on the front and I think I'll get a little maybe battery operated um, with a timer uh, votive candle or something to put in here. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I did not get too much from at home at all. And the last thing that I got from at home were these. They're really delicate. They're paper-like. I got three different ones, um, different stems. They were $3.99 each, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put them in yet. I have some twigs I haven't unpacked yet, and I, I think I have some fall floral pieces that are hiding that are really delicate like this so I can mix them all together in some bouquets but I thought this was just isn't that a really pretty vibrant almost fiery fall orange and I thought it was so cute so that's everything from at home I know I have just a few miscellaneous things I showed this in a weekly vlog I have zero Halloween decorations. I used to have quite a few. I actually had a whole Halloween village. And then when I moved out of my house to move down to the Twin Cities area, I moved into a studio apartment and I downsized. I just thought, oh, I don't need decorations anymore and got rid of them. And now I feel like I shouldn't have done that. They are bringing me so much joy and it's worth it, especially if we can find a house to have a little more storage, to have the things that I love and to take the time to decorate for the different holidays because that is, that's stuff I truly enjoy. So anyway, I have, I think this will make up my third Halloween decoration and it's not even really a Halloween decoration, but I mentioned it in, I think my last weekly vlog, I, I did get this at Home Goods. Um, it was like $3.99, it's little ghosts and it's just little boo sprinkles. I thought if I tried to do something Halloween-like um, with a tiered tray this year and years forward, I just couldn't pass that up. I thought it was super cute. And then other random things that I got. This is just from a craft fair. I don't know if it's necessarily fall, but I tucked it away with fall. It's just little beads, kind of to shawl something to go around the candle. It was like $6, so that was cute. And then the last thing, which I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you this, but you have to know that it was on my Amazon wish list, and then it would be in my cart, and then I'd move it back to the wish list, and I've been wanting to buy these for like maybe two plus years. It might be longer than that. So hold on. They're in styrofoam, so I'm going to unwrap them so you don't have to listen to that whole mess. One moment. How stinking cute are these? They are little teeny mugs. Again, I'm thinking tiered tray. 
and I have seen these on so many different I mean pins and vlogs so I know a lot of people and maybe a lot of you have them I've seen people knit little teeny tiny hats I know that people have dressed these up for different holidays and I could see it for fall decor I can see it for Christmas Valentine's Day I mean they're just all the fun uh, cozy months and holidays these are adorable and I'm so so excited about them so I'm gonna keep them packed in their styrofoam because I'm worried that they will chip in things easily but can you stand it? Can you stand how cute that is? I'm so excited. This is far and above my favorite purchase I've made. So I can't wait to get decorating, but again, I have to be patient and see where we're going to be. I definitely want to know at least on this house and we should be hearing coming up on noon here and they're going to be making a decision at noon today at the time I'm filming this. So by the time this is up, we will know whether or not we got the house we put in the offer on or at least in my next vlog, I'll be giving you an update on where we are with house hunting and still looking, but we're still hoping to be in a house coming in the coming months, hopefully before Christmas, maybe during fall. So I don't want to decorate this place too early and then just be packing it all up. So kind of waiting on that, but I'm glad I got some of that out of my system in filming this fall inventory and haul. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing for fall decor. Are you decorating early in August? Are you waiting till September? Is October your jam? Tell me what makes sense for you. I'd love to hear about it below. Again, thanks for being here. If you haven't already, consider clicking that red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, not to miss upcoming content. And if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'm Jennifer Seeger for The Seeger Stories, and I'll see you next time.